What's up? This is Nick. Um, I am one of the co leaders of Team Twisted Stitches. I'm going to be the director of photography and I'm going to be the main cameraman. Um, the Detroit 48 Hour Film Festival starts in about three hours. It's about three o'clock right now. Um, I'm super excited to get this thing going. I'm just packing up my car right now and getting everything ready. Uh, there's a, a lot of teams involved this year. Uh, it's over 50. I think it might be pushing close to 60 by the time it's done. Um, it's gonna be really fun. I know a lot of people that are involved in other teams. Our team has a lot of people. Everyone in our team is uh, very experienced filmmakers. Um, so I'm excited. I think it's gonna be really good and it's time to get going. My name is Shane Wheeler. I'm a writer. Sometimes I have to get real creative. That means I'm gonna use squiggly lines. <laughs> squiggly lines, chewing gum, lots of sugar. These are the secrets to success. Brain hacks, motherfucker. It's about three to six, three to six, and we're just waiting for our info in Detroit 48. Uh, Nick, are you excited? Very excited. <laughs> if I could do a Facebook flaming thumb, I would. Yes. But there's no Facebook flaming thumb here. So, uh, Twisted Stitches is going to make a second appearance. Well, overall, this is our first appearance here. Right now, we are waiting for the announcement of genre, character, prop, dialogue, etc. for this contest to begin. I am currently eating lots and lots of gummy bears to load up on sugar due to brain hacks because that'll let me write better and might force me to dance a little. Maybe a little. Because I'm jittery. I'm real jittery. I'm, I'm a nervous, excited, and I'm feeling pumped. Or you can turn it back in for a wild card. Which is what I'm going to guess most of you will do. Silent film. What's the next one? Silent film. Silent film. Everything is silent film, right? Yes. Okay, so we're doing from end to end silent film? Yeah. Right? Okay. It has, we can't be no talking, even when he's in the apartment and we're going to be in color. Still okay. can no be talking, no okay. sounds. No, there's to me no audio. Yeah, no, I mean, I was like, oh man, like half the <laughs> gear I don't even need now. Yeah, we don't need any <laughs> audio gear at all. We don't even have to record audio in the, cam in the camera. No, room, it's, yeah. no, it's just like, <laughs> there's no reason for it at that point. No. It'll be, that'll be brilliant. So. I'm so excited about this, this story we have. It's really good. And I'm excited to put some even more comedic touches on it. Well, I'm pretty excited here. We got a silent film, and you wouldn't think that there's much audio in a silent film, but there actually is. We got music, lots of weird 20s era ideas with a lot of uh, old, also old sounding sound effects. So it's got to be really quirky, funny. Um, we're still being modern with it too, so I gotta get all the modern sound effects. You know, it's a big realm of creativity. Sorry. Explain. There's a blogger, he reviews silent films and puts them on his blog. He gets a DVD from a good friend company of this Russian DVD silent film that got converted over. He's getting first look. And when he turns it on, the DVD seems to be talking to him in its silent title cards. He is then sucked inside this world and is told that this is a special mad science device that can freeze people inside of it and keep them alive forever so they can be, you know, brought back in future ages. The only thing is, is you have to play the film backwards, which of course it's no longer on film, it's on the DVD, so this is a problem, and there's no projectionist to get them out. And so there's a bunch of slapstick comedy stuff, and then he uses his cell phone to text somebody because he can't talk because it keeps popping up in title cards, and gets some of his friends over to come over and rewind the DVD, and they pop out, but then the whole world turns into silent film because the process has some side effects. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Day two. I'm, I, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously the guy that uh, it's like skills, but, you know, 11:30. We're just setting up for our first shot. We're actually doing one of the, probably the last scene in the movie. 
with uh, Tony, Ashley, and uh, Jeremiah. All right, so Cece, you were doing, is this actual sound design for the, the project? Is that what yeah, we're doing right now? Yeah, um, I'm just playing around right now, but um, last night I had my um, Zoom portable recorder and I was just trying to find random objects in the house I could play with to get some of these silent film weird effects. So I was uh, like, I found some pieces of wood and, you know, banging them together, making knocking noises. Um, then I was just doing a little whistling of my own. <laughs> um, playing with effects. You know, um, adding filters onto those so it sounds even more cartoony. Um, but yeah, I want to see like where the film goes and see what where it all matches up. You know. All right. So what are you gonna think? What are you thinking about? Um, are you gonna be in charge of the music as well? This music such a um, huge part of the whole silent film sure. deal. Um, it's. I think it's gonna be pretty collaborative. I think everyone has certain ideas on where they want to go with it. Um, I'm definitely still interested in seeing if I can make little original pieces, even if it's just a short, like, 30 second whatnot. Um, but, you know, we're also looking at other um, already made music and, you know, things that might fit really well into the silent film, especially in the older 20s era part of our film. So, yeah, I think it'll definitely be collaborative. Time capsule. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> that was really cool with that yeah. you guys on a beach? On a beach? You guys want to tell us what we're doing right now? Yeah, uh, right now we're filming a TV that's really green. It's pretty cool. Want to yeah. put some people on there? You know. Sounds good. How's uh, the filming coming so far, Justin? Oh, good. Really good. Oh, the, I'm breaking my arm out trying to hold up the 200 lens. It's good. <laughs> Sexy though. That's heavy. How are you, Jeremiah? How's everything coming with you, man? Freaking fantastic. It's amazing. You, uh, how do you feel about your character for this compared to the last character you played? It's a lot different than the last one. I'm not a bum this time, so it's, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the hipsters, so why not? Date a lot of hippies. Yeah, like, yeah, just be able to too. You know, right? You do. I feel like I'm gonna be Justin Timberlake over here. Right, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about uh, your experience on the set of the Detroit 40 Hour Film Project this year. Um, I got to sleep last night, which was a big deal. And thank you. And um, I mostly just hung out with this guy the whole time. It was very fun. <laughs> Stop. Ah, greetings, comrade. I'm Dr. Dr. Smolensk. Scientist, post there. I want to subscribe. It is a pleasure to be meeting you. I want to make love of your Yeah, he's already shot. But it was funny. <laughs> the fucking bomb was just like. I hit idiot mouse power! Just turn. 
<laughs> shaking or stirring, bitch. What happens to my kids in the future? The <laughs> no, they're shaking to death. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs>Hey everybody, we're here at Julie Bright's house for the second part of our shoot of uh, Time Capsule for our silent film category genre for the Detroit 48. Um, a little while ago, we had left CeCe's house, got done with like the modern day uh, portion of the film. Uh, what we're going to be doing right now is uh, she had, Julie has a nice basement, nice clean white wall you'll see in a few minutes. but. Uh, just a nice, nice clean area to do our silent film portion, the black and white version, with all the silly slapstick stuff. Um, so yeah, everything's going very smooth. Uh, we're actually making pretty decent time. Then I think later on, uh, a small group of us are going to go back to CC's and start post-editing. Um, but before we head inside, I want to take a quick, a quick thanks to everybody involved in this, people who had to leave early today people who helped out today that are not here today thank you very much um and we're having a blast so i think we should head inside right now let's finish this up how's the lights it's good you got the are you recording right now yeah <laughs> are you uh excited about this last scene the last basically scene? at the end of the movie we're gonna be shooting in this basement. This is right our shoot, middle. Yeah, but it's yeah, end of the shoot basically. It's gonna be everything that's gonna be in black and white, and it's probably gonna be a 4.3 aspect ratio. It's gonna look really cool, like an old film. So we're getting the table set up right here and uh, getting the lights ready, and that's about it. We'll be wrapped. We'll be going in the post right away. How does it feel to be, what about 80% complete, 90%? Pretty good. It's uh, just after six right now. I honestly see us wrapping up within the hour. Uh, it gives us a nice little head start for post-production tonight. What time uh, originally did you think you were gonna be getting to post? Honestly, I thought, like even if we'd got done early, I'd probably take a little breather. So, I mean, I, this is actually we're on schedule. I honestly see us starting this around seven or eight. So, I think we're doing pretty good. I and uh, Ashley enter the house to find that um, the blogger has been sucked into the TV. So, basically, we just have to sell our reactions and our movements in our scene where we come in to find him on the TV and it was really fun. I had a good time and enjoyed my character and what I got to do. This is my first silent film, so anxious to see how it turns out. My name is Marcella. Um, I got involved because my friend Diego um, recommended me. Um, and it's been fun so far, really fun. It's great to meet new people and you guys are doing awesome. What do you think about doing a silent film? Um, <laughs> it's kind of 
tough, um, but it's fun too. It's fun at the same time. Uh, my name is Jeremiah Roberts. I'm playing uh, the role of, uh, is it SD? SJ? SJ, there we go. <laughs> um, uh, in this particular role, I play like a hipster type film blogger that uh, gets a DVD in the mail to review. And when I watch it, it turns out that this mad scientist created a, an invention that sucks me into the TV. I'm stuck there, and it's a silent film. First silent film I've ever worked on. So. Great group of people, you know, it's been a fun time. Uh, how do you feel about the silent film? Is it like challenging to do a silent film? I would say that the silent film is a lot more challenging than uh, it is particularly with dialogue because it's a lot more physical aspects. It's a lot more hand movements and gestures and stuff like that than using your just your facial expressions in uh, dialogue. Okay, yeah, just say your name, tell me what you're doing in the movie, that kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Um, you can use sub captions. <laughs> Brian, welcome. <laughs> Playing the scientist. I'm worn out. Well, not really worn out, just a little windy. Uh, what are the um, complications with doing a silent film? Mm. I actually, I find it a lot easier because you don't have to memorize a bunch of lines. It's true. Um, this is my only problem right here. I do a slit and this thing falls right off. Yeah. I've already applied this thing at least four times so far. I think. Cool. We're, make, we're making a um, <coughs> damn good camera movie. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mad dollies, jibs. Shims, things, really. lights, racks. Static shots. Mm -hmm. Couple boxes. He's just naming things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> C stands. Just saying anything. <laughs> uh, what are clothes pins called? C forty seven. There they are. Yeah, a bunch of yeah, those. Gels. Yep. We don't have any gels, but gels. Not one gel. Nick has gels. gels. <laughs> this hasn't used. Gels diffusion. Pointless in black and white film though. Uh do you have anything planned special for the uh, some of the special effects post production stuff? Uh just for a few shit. <laughs> no, I'm not doing fast. <laughs> Uh, for one shot where you're getting stuck in the TV, you gotta have some things to work on for that. Should be interesting though. But we shot everything in order so we can just hammer our SD card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be easy. I thought we had to make more stuff, but yeah, since we have one card, it'd yeah. be easy to figure out what to do with. <laughs>
swept kid on my contacts. <laughs> 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 Yeah.